And we're going to write this from scratch every single time. I want you to get very used to writing this. So that way it's engraved in your brain, all right? So uh, we're going to make a comment here. We're going to call this database raw uh, SQL queries. I think this is um, appropriate uh, queries. There we go. All right. So let's write, let's create a row. And if you want to pause the video and do it yourself first, do it. And then you can compare it with my code. Let's see how uh, it relates. So we're going to create the first parameter as a UR, the URL, of course, of this get method. Second parameter is going to be what? The function, right? Parentheses, one per, pair of parentheses, one pair of curly brackets. Bring it down. Use the DB class, right? And we're going to say select. First parameter is going to be what? We select, and you can use a single, let's say use the single quotes. That's how we have it in the documentation. So we're going to select everything from where? From posts, our table, right? Where ID equals, okay? Second parameter. We're going to bind that, this question mark, with this value right here. That's what we're doing. Remember, this is a type of a PDO way, all right? Now, so we're selecting this, and now we can actually save those results here in a variable. Now, this is going to return an array of results, all right? Um, these results come in a STD, all right, class object, meaning that whatever is coming from there, whatever results we get from there, it comes in a generic empty class. So that means we can access them like properties of an object, like dynamic properties, all right? So we can access them like this, results, whatever, um, like this, results, like this, okay? But because it is an array, we need to loop through it, right? All right, so I want you to pause the video and try to do that yourself. P loop through these results and uh, come out with a title and return it. Do that, and uh, I'll do that in a couple, in one second. I hope you were able to do it, all right? So I just paused the video like for, I don't know how many seconds were in your side, probably like less than a second. But anyway, so let's use the for each and let's loop through it. And it's going to be like this, results as result, all right? Or we can make it better. We can say results as post, like this, make it more semantic. And we can return post title. There we go. Now let's go to the browser and let's check it out real quick, forward slash read enter there you go then we get the title out of it and you can do that with the other column name content or whatever other column you have in your uh, record okay so as you can see this returns and now if I comment this out and I returned this guy here you'll see what we get in the browser we get this array of object of an object right you see the square brackets at the end? And then the curly brackets indicate that it is an object. It's an, an empty class that we can access properties just like we do in an object, right? Look at that. It's separated by the colon. That's when you find out that this is related to an object. Okay? Now you can also do var dump, all right? So you can do var dump and do uh, results. Okay, enter, and you can see it clearly the, well, what it is. All right, you see, array one, and then each key, the, the zero key has an object, and then it is an STD class, even with a number 116, and now it starts having the ID is an int, the title is a string, 16 characters, and so on, and so on, and so on. All right, so anyway, Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you in the next lecture.